Junk food. Let's talk about junk food. It doesn't matter if it was your daughter's birthday and there are leftover cupcakes. Get them out of your house tonight. I get it that you've got kids. I get it that you're gonna have a housewarming party. I get it that you're gonna have grandma and grandpa's retirement party. Not everyone in your life is code red and not everyone follows the plan. Truly, I get that. But the junk must be gone out of your house that night when the party is over absolutely no exception one of my big hard and fast rules is no junk food is allowed to stay in your house and i'm not saying no junk food is allowed in your house i would love if that were the case but real life here we're talking about and i understand you're gonna have parties you're gonna have things that are going on and you're gonna need to make cookies and brownies and cupcakes i get that but when the party is over that leaves with that last kid all right you send it over like my neighbor john he doesn't mind if I send him over any kind of junk food that was at the party that we just had. Send it home, give it to a homeless guy, whatever you wanna do, get it out of your house and it leaves tonight. Because the stress that you might have just dealt with having that party, it might hit you later on at night, it might hit you while you're cleaning up. One nibble, one nibble, I'm just gonna have one bite, I'm just gonna have one brownie, I'm just gonna have one cookie. That's all it takes to derail you and start that cycle of the sugar addiction. You don't need that. You've got to get it out of your house. Don't act like you've got this because you don't got this. Even I can't keep junk food in my house. And if your fearless leader can't keep junk food in her house, you can't either. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up for that temptation to have to deal with that because they, they just call your name over and over. Oh, Christy, come eat me. You don't need that. You got enough in your life to worry about. Get it out of your house. Look, uh, holidays, parties, anything that's going on that you might have junk food in your house, you've got to get it out that night. Look, heroin addicts don't keep heroin in their cupboards. And you might say, well, that's awfully dramatic of you to say, well, guess what? Sugar is eight times more addictive than heroin. So yeah, I can I pretty much say we got a pretty serious problem on our hands here. And you gotta treat it like that. So you don't keep junk food in your house. Cookies, crackers, cakes, brownies, whatever your definition of junk food is, whatever that is not code red, it needs to leave when the party is over. If you think you can get away with something no one all through time has ever gotten away with, I can't help you. But if you're ready to embrace the rules that no matter what, no junk food stays in your home, then we should connect. Click the link below to download my free resources and learn what it means to be a Code Red Rebel. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be informed when I release a new video. And listen, you wanna be honest with me a second? Comment below and tell me what junk food you need to get out of your house. I know, I know, it takes some bravery to do that, but I wanna hear from you. Comment, tell me what junk food needs to get out of the house, and I'll see you on the next video.